Today's story is read with permission from Scholastic. Thank you. I'm going to share with you part of the Geronimo Stilton series called The Cheese Burglar, read with permission by Scholastic. Geronimo Stilton, The Cheese Burglar. A garbage can for Mr. Stilton. It was a beautiful Saturday morning in spring. I was dusting the display case and held my precious cheese rind collection. You see, I have rinds dating all the way back to the 16th century. They are my most prized possessions. Oh, I'm so sorry, I almost forgot to introduce myself. My name is Stilton, Geronimo Stilton, and I run the Rodents Gazette, the, the most famous newspaper in Mouse Island. So, I was dusting my display case when the doorbell rang. I opened the door to find a yellow garbage can with the sign that read security system. How strange, I hadn't ordered a security system. Before I could squeak a word, the garbage can started rolling toward me and followed me right inside. How weird. I closed the door and followed the garbage can into the living room. It just kept going. This was very peculiar. The garbage can started rolling around. It knocked over a couple of chairs and a china base. Then it slid toward my precious cheese rind case. I sprang forward and tried to stop it. As soon as my paw touched the lid, a siren blared. Moldy mozzarella! I had accidentally set off the alarm. I tried desperately to turn it off. Suddenly, the garbage can spit out a sheet of paper. To deactivate the alarm, insert two or three bananas. I finally understood. Not again, I shouted. Hey, get your tail out of there right now. The garbage can's lid lifted up, and a snout I knew well peeked out. Hello, my dear Stilton. How did you like my little prank? The Mice Convention. It was my old friend Hercule Poirot, the detective. Hercule and I have been friends since we were just wee mouselets. I love him dearly, but I've always hated his pranks. Why in the name of cheese do you do something like this, I asked. Well, today you're going to present your cheese rind collection at MICE, the annual Mouse Island Cheese Ex Exhibition. So I thought that you might need a security system. The infamous cheese rind bandit is supposed to be there. Rats and rat hairs, I exclaimed. I had forgotten all about MICE. When I received the invitation, I wasn't sure whether or not I should go. But then I learned that Professor Reginald Reinrat, the most famous cheese rind collector of all time, would be there. I immediately decided to attend. The convention's organizer had offered each collector an armored car so that we could transport our antique rinds safely and securely. I had agreed because I too had heard that the cheese rind bandit was planning to make an appearance. I looked at my watch. It was 9.50! The armored car will be here in 10 minutes, I exclaimed. I have to hurry. Do you need help, my dear Stilton? asked Hercule. No, thank you. Would you like a banana? No, thank you. Here, let me peel that one for you. No, thank you. At that moment, the doorbell rang. Stilton, the armored car is here. Why don't, oh, why don't I open the door for you? Oh, all right, fine. Open the door. Two helpers plus one more. Fortunately, it was not the armored car. It was my nephew, Benjamin, and his friend, Bugsy Wugsy. They scurried in the front door. Hi, Uncle Geronimo, Benjamin exclaimed. Everything ready for the convention? Hi, Benjamin, I said. I just adore that little mouse. Yes, I'm almost ready. Hello, Mr. Poirat, Bugsy Wugsy said. Are you exhibiting at the convention too? Not really, replied Poirat, peeling a banana. My dear friend Stilton needing a helping paw, since he is clumsier than a gopher in a garbage can. So here I am. Hmm, I muttered. I'm not that clumsy. At that exact moment, I slipped on the banana peel Poirat had dropped on the floor. Crusty cheese rinds, what a tumble. Are you hurt, Uncle G? Bugsy Wugsy asked. She moved forward and accidentally stepped on my tail. Youch! 
Uncle, do you need our help too? Benjamin asked sweetly. We'll help you display your cheese rinds, Bugsy Wugsy offered. Well, I don't know, I began. We'll keep an eye out for suspicious rodents. Well, I don't know. Don't damage your little gray cells, Stilton, Poirat said. Let us help. Oh, all right, I finally agreed. I didn't seem to have a choice. You can all come to the convention with me. Just then we heard the sound of a car horn out on the street. Beep, beep. Are you Mr. Stilton? Bugsy Wugsy peeked out the window. There's a van here with a driver all dressed in black. She's waiting for you, Uncle G. I opened the door. On the stoop, stoop stood a rodent with dark glasses and curly blonde fur. Are you Mr. Stilton, she asked. Yes, that's me, I replied. I'm doing security for M-I-C-E, she explained. I'm here to escort you to the exhibition hall. Oh yes, I'm ready, I replied without thinking. Really? She looked me over from snout to tail, because it looks like you're still in your pajamas. Oh yes, sir, uh, of course I am, I mumbled nervously. Just give me one minute, please. It took me 10 seconds to wash my face, 10 seconds to brush my teeth, 10 seconds to get dressed, five seconds to comb my fur, 20 seconds to stow the cheese rinds in my steel briefcase, five seconds to lock the door. I was ready in exactly one minute. The security rodent was incredibly impressed. I shook the security rodent's paw. My name is Ashley Dow, she said, but you can just call me Ash. Climb in and hold on tight. I scrambled into the van. Ash's powerful perfume made my snout spin. Hercule, Benjamin, and Bugsy Wugsy climbed in too. The van sprang away from the curb faster than a mouse trap spring. Holy cheese, I was terrified. Stilton, Hercule hissed. He was as pale as mozzarella. Can you? Ask your new friend to slow down? Yes, Uncle Geronimo, Benjamin agreed. I'm feeling sick. His snout was as green as moldy cheddar. But Bugsy Wugsy seemed fine. Wow, this is like a roller coaster, she exclaimed. You're a great driver, Ms. Dow. Thanks, Ash replied. You're sweeter than cheesecake. The van stopped in front of the exhibition hall. Here we are, Ash said. As we scurried out of the van, I noticed something dangling from the wrist of Ash's uniform. Clue number one, what did Geronimo notice? Let's check it out. Hmm, okay. Unlucky number 13. Ash, Hercule, J Benjamin, Bugsy Wugsy, and I scampered into the enormous ex exhibition hall. We followed Ash through the booths where collectors from every part of Mouse Island were showing off their precious cheese rinds. They were rinds from every era, from prehistory to the period of the Great Cat War, all the way to the Battle of Rataloo. Ash stopped in front of booth 13. Here's your booth, Mr. Stilton, she said. I hope you're not so superstitious. Good luck. Then she left with a shake of her long blonde fur, Hercule pulling out a banana and started nibbling. Booth number 13 is unlucky. We should try to switch with someone. I don't believe in bad luck, I began. Actually, I do, but I didn't want to say so in front of Benjamin. Before I could continue, I slipped on the banana. Peel. Hercule had dropped on the floor. See, Stilton, Hercule said as he helped me, uh, he said, Hercule said as he, Benjamin, and Bugsy Wugsy reached down to help me to get up. I was right. Today seems to be your unlucky day. Are you hurt, Mr. Stilton? Came a squeak from behind me. I whirled around and immediately recognized the rodents standing there. Reginald Reinrat, Mouse Island's most famous cheese rind collector. I squeaked. Yes, that's me, he replied, and it is a great honor to have you as my neighbor, Mr. Stilton. My booth is right here, number 14. How nice of you to introduce yourself, Hercule interrupted. I am Hercule Poirat, world-renowned private investigator and Geronimo Stilton's best friend. I am here to guard his very precious cheese rind collection. I've heard a lot about your magnificent collection, replied Rindrat, shaking my paw. Please come with me. I want to show you something truly unique. Reginald Reinrat led us to a small display case. 
He removed the cloth that covered it and switched on a light, revealing a cheese rind with a greenish glow. Why, this is the last surviving cheese rind from the world-famous Samuel Stinktail collection dating back to the 16th century, I exclaimed. That is correct, Mr. Stilton, Rhinerat replied. You are a true cheese connoisseur. I've been hunting for this cheese rind since I was just a mouselet, I confessed. How did you find it? That is my little secret, Rhinerat replied with a chuckle. Hercule examined the display case. The glass is so fragile. Isn't that a little dangerous? Dangerous? Not a chance, replied a squeak from behind us. Our security systems are the safest in the world. All right, we're going to stop for there.